Today, we're going back to the beginning. Minecraft these days is often viewed as an easy game, with many players having speedruns that are 10 minutes or below. Today we're here to change that. Let's roll back the years to a simpler time, when Minecraft videos were relaxed, more chilled out, and people took their time with their projects. The goals we have for this series are to unlock all the achievements, beat the Ender Dragon, beat the Wither, and to finally beat the Warden. We'll be taking our time, being a bit more chilled out, relaxed, and just taking each Minecraft day as it comes. Let's dive in. I don't think we can miss out this vital step of the Minecraft playthrough, which is going to be punching our first tree. There we go. I still remember what I'm doing. I still remember what I'm doing. So we're going to make a crafting table first and make ourselves an iron... an iron pick? No, we're going to make ourselves a wooden pick. Cool. And then we're going to go and dig up some stone because I think we're just going to start off straight away by going to some stone tools. There's no point wasting the wood making a wooden axe. We only need about 17 stone anyway, so let's just get it from here. Oh look, there's some copper down there. Copper which is pretty much useless. <laughs> the only thing I'd ever think about using copper for is to make a spyglass, and that's about it. Okay, great. Great, let's make ourselves some stone tools. Great start. I'm gonna get that copper, because even though copper is useless, I do want to make a spyglass eventually, so it'll be a good idea to grab it. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to climb a tree and just to see, or go to like a high area and just see what we've got nearby. That's a pretty tall tree. We'll just go up there. Oh my God, there's a village over there. Oh my, that was great. Great stuff. Great start, baby. Looks like we've got a couple of biomes here. Spruce, snow, cherry blossom just over there too. I think that's the cherry blossom. I think the next logical step would be to go and check out the village, to be honest. So let's go and raid, pillage, and steal everything that village has. I'll tell you something. I remember when birch trees and all that, all the, they would just spout out the same, same wooden blanks. Back in the old days. Oh, your savior is here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all these guys. Hey, guys. How you doing? You good? We've got loads of leather workers here. You don't contribute to society at all. They've all got potato trays. They want 26 potatoes. I don't have that many potatoes. I ain't a rich man. All right, let's go and check out what's in this chest. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's not bad. I'll take some emeralds. <laughs> I'll take those emeralds off your hands. Just thieve them. Thieve them. Anything in here? Oh, he's got a brewing stand in here. That saves me from having to make one. Golden nuggets. Okay, we don't have much here. But that's okay. That's okay. Villagers are a useful resource. <laughs> I like how I'm referring to these people as resources. <laughs> All right. Sorry, dude. This is going to be my bed. <laughs> just sleeping in his house. <laughs> Bro's fuming. Bro's absolutely fuming. Okay, well, it's good to see we have a village straight away. That's a good start. We've got a... Oh, there's a cave here too. I would like to get some iron. I think the first port call is probably to get some iron, some coal, and just some stuff like that. And maybe some sort of method of cooking food reliably. <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. And there's some iron there too. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. We're on a roll. All right, I think exploring some mines might be a good idea. And then maybe building a house too. A little makeshift dirt home that's everybody's first in Minecraft. <laughs> if, if there's only one block, I'm going to be fuming. Okay, two. <laughs> Not great. But it looks like there are quite a few caves in this general area. So I don't think we're going to be short of iron for very long. We'll probably go down there in a sec. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, Timmy tasted good. <laughs> I think one of the aims for this series could be to actually just get all the achievements. We'll just slowly make our way through. Oh, I didn't realize this was right behind. All right, let's collect all this while we're here. Usually in my Minecraft playthroughs, I usually sprint past the coal and just don't collect it. Don't bother. <laughs> and then I end up missing loads of it. And then I get to a point where I'm like, damn, where's all my coal gone? Why haven't I got any coal? And I, re I realized it's because I haven't been collecting it when I've been seeing it. So I've got like an unwritten rule to just always collect it. Always collect it. It ain't going to go amiss here. Beautiful stuff. Honestly, I could spend hours just playing Minecraft, to be honest. <laughs> Oof, Jesus, scared me. What kind of cave is this, man? What kind of cave is this? We ain't finding no iron. Okay, let's just grab this smelter and then we'll make ourselves a pick and also a 
shield. I think that'd be a good shout. And while we're at it, we might as well use up the rest of this pit, getting this cold and stuff. Because I like a wise man once said, me, you can never have enough coal. Sounds like there's a lava pool in here too. I can hear bubbling. And this cave goes deep, man. Hell yeah, it goes deep, man. Look at that. I feel like an adventurer. And we'll also make ourselves a shield. There we go. Cool. All right, so we sort of just got to remember this is here. It's got emeralds in it. That's important. Okay, that's scary. I wonder what the hell that was for a second then. Okay, Minecraft Thunder is actually pretty scary. This goes back up. Is this all connected? Stop! That ain't fun no more. It's scary. <laughs> I don't like it. I tell you what, it's quite nice to have these surface level caves though, because normally you end up in a deep slate maze and there's not like iron anywhere. Okay, great. Now the threat of death will be nowhere near as bad. I have a full set of armor. Lovely. Oh my god, that's a dungeon up there. There's going to be a spawner. I think it's a skeleton spawn. I can just hear them rattling around. We've had a good start, to be fair. We found a village really early. We've got this cave, which just seems to go on forever. And it's like a surface cave. And I'm, I'm sure there'll be an area to dig further down as well. Let me just grab all this stuff up. All right, I'd like to tackle that dungeon. I'm, I think I'm more than equipped enough to deal with it. Yeah, is there a way I can access it? I think it's up there. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Okay, right, and relax, that's fine. Right, let's check out what this dungeon's got to offer us. Anything good? Saddle is nice. Saddle is nice. And I've got the cat's music disc as well. Lovely stuff. Lots of iron down here. Ooh. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's not good. In here should be my finished smelting iron. There we go. <laughs> I have so much iron, it is crazy. Yeah, let's leave that in there. Let's go and explore further down. I'd like to go and get some diamonds. Oh my god. This is... Oh. What the hell is this? Oh my god. What the... F what the... Dear lord. Also, here's an age-old tip for anyone playing Minecraft. Always place your torches on the left of the cave, so whenever you're on your way back, you know you're going to follow them on the right-hand side. That is a pro tip for you right there. Oh, shh. Sugar. That isn't good. There we go. There's a lot of mobs, isn't there? So I'm so busy clearing out all these mobs, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that massive lava fall. It's all caused by it hitting a block as well. Look at that, it's crazy. I bet you there's diamonds down there. That is insane. <gasps> there we go, baby. There's our first diamond. Hopefully it's more than just one, but we'll take it. There's got to be some more near here. Oh my God, there's, there's loads here. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that is huge. I bet you there's... Oh, I can't even see this whole cave because it's just so big. Let me just make sure I light this place up. A little bit more because there's still mobs spawning in. There's another there's another spawner down there. It is crazy. I can't believe how huge this is. Alright, this loops back around here. Okay, that's good. Alright, let me collect the diamonds. Alright, it's just one. Just one diamond. One lonely diamond. That's okay, because there's another one right here. Let me just sort of tread carefully. Don't want to die. Tread carefully as he dives in. Oh, yes. This is a huge vein of diamonds. This is genuine, like a whole world just under the ground. <laughs> All right, let me have a look in this chest. Let's see what's in here. A bunch of iron. 
Name tag. I'll take the horse armor. We got a bow. I'll take it. I'll take it, boys. There has to be more diamonds in here, surely. Down there? There's more down there. That looks like a death trap and a half, though. All right, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for those diamonds. It's worth it. Whatever happens, I don't want that creeper to blow these up. Okay. I think we've done it. <sighs> that was tense, that was. Whew. All right, now we can claim our rewards. Beautiful, beautiful diamonds. We have, we've actually got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, we've got 18 diamonds from one, from one trip. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> I am just going to collect these redstone things too, just for the XP. I definitely think we're going to come back down here eventually. My god, what an insane journey this was. Oh my god, I don't believe it, there's even more! We've genuinely got so lucky with this sort of like, spawn, seed, whatever we've got going on here. I've only had this recording been going for an hour so far, and we've almost got 20 diamonds. <laughs> yeah, we've got 21 diamonds. even more down there man this just opens up even further okay i would go and get that but it's a bit of a drop i don't think that's a lethal fall right i can't believe we've got 30 diamonds we've got half a stack okay now it's time to go i think we've exhausted the whole well we haven't exhausted the whole cave because i'm sure there's more to go but <laughs> I can't carry much more stuff on me, so we're gonna have to go and put it somewhere. All right, can I get back up that way? Don't think I can get up. It's okay, I think I'm quite close to my entrance point anyway. This, because this was like an offshoot, wasn't it, of the original cave? Okay. Oh, actually, I want to get that coal as well, because oddly enough, we've almost run out of coal. <laughs> oh, this is our entrance point. Oh my god, look, this is where the little chest is that I had earlier <laughs> what's in there <laughs> oh my god look at all the stuff we've got let's do a bit of management shall we let's smell all the raw iron so then we can get it just put into this okay so we finally made it out of that cave but oh my god crazy stuff i think we should make our house in a similar vicinity to the sort of village area but i don't want to make it too close to the a raid starts randomly because that would be terrible so i think somewhere maybe here in this sort of open area quite close to this cave this is a very nice flat area here so maybe here be really nice just above the ravine all right cool Right, let's start off just by making a little wooden hut, but not build it too close to that lava pit down there. Because otherwise it'll be terrible and the house will catch fire and we'll probably die. Let's just make a little hut for now, and then we can always expand later. I also sort of want to have a birch floor. I think birch floors are solid. Beautiful stuff. Uh, it's not symmetrical, is it? I mean, it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> but it's fine, it's just a little start at home. I need to get a little farm going as well, and that's what I need to do, and smelt. Oh, I, can't, I forgot I've got four blocks of iron. <laughs> okay, right, let's also put our gold on, and let's make ourselves a hoe, so we can get farming too. I think I have some seeds already. I got eight, cool. Let's get these seeds planted, shall we? 
This is just me mowing the lawn, <laughs> cutting the grass, <laughs> trimming the wild flower, as it were. I don't think I've even got enough crops to fill up all these things. I've only got 42 seeds. Right, those are going to grow nice and strong. Nice and big. So now we've pretty much got infinite food source, which is which is cool, which is great. I also need to plant my beetroot seeds too, which I want to plant on the other side. Just so, I mean, I'll, I'll probably separate them at some point, but they'll go together for now. We ain't in no hurry. Cool. Right, now I'm going to make the little slabs. Solid progress. Solid, solid progress. Although my, my house is still a bit of an eyesore. But that will evolve over time. We're going to plan to do some great stuff here. Build loads of things. Fight the Ender Dragon. Fight the Warden. This is going to be a huge, huge world. And I think the last thing we're going to do before we shoot off is probably make ourselves a diamond pick. We had to do it. It had to be done, my friends. The diamond pick has to be made. Let's put all of our iron away. And now we're going to go and... Do I need the stone sword anymore? I'll just use the iron one. Actually, I'm also going to get an achievement here too. So you can get an achievement by picking up a bucket of lava. There you go, see? Hot stuff. But I think it's also useful to have a bucket of water as well. Uh, I think I want to go and tame a horse. I think that's what I'm going to go and do. Let's do that. I swear there were loads of horses nearby at the start of the, at the when I spawned in, though. Say so what? We've got quite a nice spread of biomes here. All right, where are all the horsies? Horsies. I'm also going to do. I'm also going to nick some of these fence posts as well. Okay. You're coming home with me. Say bye to your fence post, boys. I swear there were horses when I when I started the world. <gasps> I need to get that ocelot. I'm going to tame it to be a cat. I need to sleep first. <laughs> I like how we just steal beds. And there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> well, let me just get a few fish, actually. Because I'm not sure how many fish I'm going to need to tame that ocelot. Oh my god. Where are the cats? Where are the meow meows? Oh, I don't think they are. Oh, there's one here. Hey. You want... You want to... Oh, yes. There we go. Look. Oh, we have ourselves a cat. Oh, so cute. He's so cute. You're such a good... He looks like my cat. He looks like Ollie. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. And he's purring too. He's such a good boy. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there were some horses nearby. The collective hmm, as we walked through. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure I'll get a horse eventually. I think I just need to wait for some to spawn in, to be honest. I think they usually spawn in on flatland, don't they? Okay. I do have some wool here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little carpet for my fluffy boy. I'll put it here for now. There he goes. He can have that little corner. Where are you, boy? Where has he gone? Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> Give him some fish. There you go. Oh, <laughs> So cute. He's <laughs> so cute. All right, let's push him onto his little mat. There you go. Come on. You're going to stay here and you're going to guard the home. Yeah? That's a good idea? Yes? Yes, see, he's talking to me. Look at us. We're going to finish off the episode next to our boy, Ollie. He's such a good boy. He makes my heart break and I've only known him for like five minutes. But we've made some good progress. Made ourselves a little wooden hut to start off with. And eventually we'll expand this and it'll become brilliant and magical and huge. Thank you for joining me for this first episode in this new series, Minecraft Survival. It's just been getting the basics out of the way. If you want to see more stuff, you can click the videos on screen right now. But that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.